Well, I'm going to talk a little bit about participation. And, but before I do, I want to really thank um, CDS for all that you all are doing to move this cooperative decade forward. It's, it's really, really phenomenal. And I also want to recognize all the great work of food co-ops in being so creative in promoting co-ops and in, and in advancing co-op education. I don't think um, anybody could not be impressed by the many creative ways with the bags and so forth that you're moving that forward. We work with all different kinds of co-ops. So I'm going to try to integrate some of that into, into this um, talk. And I want to think about um, uh, what is participation? What are we thinking about when we talk about participation? And if you look at Webster, Webster is going to say, did I go back, backwards instead of forwards? Um, so we all talk about participation. And um, Webster talks about it being um, participation being a state of being a part of the whole or um, integrated into a whole. And so in our co-ops, it's our activity in our co-ops. It's our engagement in our, in our co-ops. And then I think about, we just have some basic things that we expect from members, right? So we all know that there's this continuum of participation in co-ops, and we all recognize that. But there's some basic things that we want in, in co-ops. And one of them is that we want people to recognize that as a member, they're a co-owner of the co-op. We'd like for them to recognize that they have that they should patronize the co-op, that they should shop there. That that's part of being a member. And then we also want them to participate in governance, right, of the co-op. And so those are kind of fundamental things that I think we all strive for um, in, in our co-ops. But then um, I start to think about, um, sometimes we think about, well, what is the most thing? What, how can we get people to participate more? And there's one perspective of that that says, What's in it for me? And we can offer the, that to people, right? We can say, as food co-ops, we offer you know, local food. We author, offer healthy food to people. We're integrated into, um, into the local economy. And so we're offering, um, we're offering um, some local foods in that. Um, we can say, we can, uh, we can reach out to people's economic um, senses and say, well, it's, you know, it's a good buy. And then, of course, if we have patronage refunds, we can say, hey, you can get your patronage refund. But I actually think when we're thinking about, um, about participation, really what we really need to focus on is that sense of community, that that's really the difference in, in a co-op. And I was trying to think about how do we image that? How would I imagine how that looks, that participation? And so I kind of played with um, some, different, um, some different things. And what I, what I did was I thought, well, what is it that our um, foreparents said about co-ops? What is it, you know, we've been, co-ops have been around for a long, long time. What is it that they said? And some of these symbols uh, that I'm going to share with you, we all know them. It's nothing new. But I think it's good to reflect back on them. And one of them that we all know the, is the most common is the Twin Pines. And of course, there's like page-long descriptions of, of the symbolism in the Twin Pines. But basically, it's it's representing community. It's representing the mutuality of co-ops. The, the pine trees are like ever, they're supposed to be representative of everlasting. Um, there's lots of symbolism. But basically, it's that sense of mutuality. And then, I don't know if you, many of you remember that we used to have um, a co-op flag. But we don't see the flag as much these days as we see the colors that are in the flag. And so I want to talk about what those colors mean, that each one of them have meaning. And it's very, very cool. And I think poignant to what we're talking about in participation. So in order, if we look at this flag, the red stands for courage. Orange stands for um, the vision of possibilities. The yellow stands for um, the courage um, that prepared, that is kindled by green. And green is the challenge to look for growth in membership. Sky blue is a cool one. It's about vision about um, the need to provide education, to help the less fortunate, and unity among people all over the world. Um, the dark blue is also pretty cool. And that is the significance of co-ops to people that are less fortunate, that by working together, they can um, solve their problems. Um, and then the final one, violet, is about um, friendship and warmth. So I think those, so when I think about all those colors, they're about participation. They incite participation. And then I was trying to think, well, how does that look to me? How can I communicate that? 
And I thought of swirls embedded in these colors because participation is active, right? It's not static. And the amount of participation that we have in our co-op is also not static. Sometimes we participate a lot, sometimes we participate a little, and participation is not a singular endeavor. It's something that's contagious. So if other people are really participating in a co-op, it makes us want to participate. And so it's, it's a fluid process, and I, I think a spiral to me kind of explains or, or helps to understand that. But we can get really, really worked up in our own co-op, right, in this spiral, but actually what we want to recognize is if we have that energy going enough, we'll start to look around and see that there's, there are other co-ops too. So, um, and the way that we look at those is we can look back at the, at the ICA principles, which I'm not going to go through all these. Um, I don't have enough time in 10 minutes. But I think there's, there's one that is particularly helpful in um, when we're talking about participation. And that is the, the principle about education. Because an education happens in all different kinds of ways. The bags, the, um, the different informal ways we have education that are reminding us about the co-op. And I think it's important to remember that um, the principals, when they talk about education, are not talking about product uh, education. That's very, very important. But they're talking about um, education, about being a co-op member, about your role in the co-op when they talk about, um, talk about that. And so if we use this education, and all co-ops are participating in this, in this activism, I think we start to recognize that there are other co-ops around. There are farmer co-ops. There are child care co-ops, housing co-ops, um, artisan co-ops. All of these consumer food co-ops, all of us are working together and participating in our own co-ops. And if we're really good, we will recognize the power of a cooperative economy that really, we really do share some things together. We need to unite together in order to really, really get this whole thing going. And I want to really, I want to close with something. So I was trying to look, well, what are some contemporary things? Do you know how many co-op songs there are? There are so many co-op songs. And I found one that I particularly like. And I asked Joel to sing it. And, uh, and I think and Nina's going to pass around some words. So if you really become really moved, you can sing. And if you really, really get moved, I want you to come up here because Joel is, is recording this. And, and uh, so I'm a terrible singer. I'm pretty good at rhythm, but I'm really bad at singing. Um, and so hopefully he can play this co-op song because I think the words are, pre are pretty good. Don't you want to come along, building communities for all the world to see? We're one billion strong, lend your voices to the chorus of democracy. Co-ops are a better way to build a better world. Co-ops are a better way to build a better world. Corporations closing down leaves us on the streets. An opportunity for a co-op company. Many voices lift us up and pull us from despair. Ninety-nine rejoicing members are one lonely billionaire. Don't you want to come along? Building community for all the world to see. We're one billion strong, lend your voices to the chorus of democracy. Co-ops are a better way to build a better world. Co-ops are a better way to build a better world. Stop the downward spiral based on greed, not need for our health and wealth. We will sow a seed to grow a co-op culture with our family and friends. Sharing, caring, helping, and start a brand new trend. Everybody, don't you want to come along? Building communities for all the world to see. We're one billion strong. Let your voices to the chorus of democracy. Co-ops are a better way to build a better world. 
Co-ops are a better way to build a better world. One more time, don't you want to come along? Building communities for all the world to see. We're one billion strong, lend your voices to the chorus of democracy. Co-ops are a better way to build a better world. Co-ops are a better way to build a better world.